Hello Year Ones, happy Friday, hope that you're all well. Today we're going to be writing the end of our story um, and so today we're going to be focusing on two Candleby credits. The first one is going to be responsibility because we do have to be responsible, don't we, and do our home learning and I know that you're all working really, really hard this week on that one. And also pride because we want you to be proud at the end of the week of the English work that you have completed. And when you've finished, if you'd like to uh, email us your work, because we'd like to show some of it to Mrs Armstrong or to Mr Hewlett, who is in charge of English in our school. So I bet they'd like to see our year one work as well. And I bet they'd be really, really proud of us. So for today's lesson, you're going to need your story plan, whether it's the three part story plan or the six part story plan. You need a pencil. You need the story that you've already started writing. And today, if you can find your animal description that we did on Monday, can you remember when you drew a picture of the animal that you wanted to use on your hunt? And we used adjectives, didn't we, to describe it? If you can find those, those pieces, uh, those things that you need, please, um, and then come back to us when you have done. Right then, so our learning objective today is to write the end of the story. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to get your story plan in front of you, please. And I'd like you now with a grown up to point to the box that is the end of the story. Now, if you're using the three part story plan, the end box is the third box. And if you are doing the six part story, then you're going to be using the end box in the six part story as well. So in the end of our story, remember that the family go into the cave, the narrow, gloomy cave. And then inside, they're going to find the animal. Now remember us teachers, we've done a tortoise, haven't we? But you've got to think about what animal now you're going to have in your cave because it's going to be your innovated character. So if you'd like to pause the video and just tell your grown up what animal is going to be in the cave. Right then, so when we do our writing at the end of our story about our animal, we're going to be looking back at our adjectives from Monday's lesson to help us to write. And I'll show you how we're going to do that in a few minutes. In today's piece of work, there's going to be three options for you to choose. The first one is going to be writing a short ending to the story. The second one is going to be writing a longer ending to the story. And then the third one is if you're not feeling very confident with the writing today, that's fine. And um, we have put a sheet on the website for you just to fill in some missing words, just to make it a bit more manageable while you're at home. So you can choose whichever ones you want to do. So the first piece of writing that I'm going to talk about is going to be the shorter piece of writing. But before we start anything, we need to check and see if we can remember all the features of our writing that we need to include today. So capital letters, definitely our innovated character, finger spaces, adjectives, full stops, and today I've put some extensions on because some of you might like to include some exclamation marks and a question mark. So those are some extra challenges. Okay, so this is an example of a shorter piece of writing that you could do for your ending. So I'll read it to you and then we'll just talk about it. So, a gloomy cave. What's that? One solid shell. Quick! Run home! So, we can see that we've gone into the gloomy cave. Can you spot my split digraph of the A sound in cave? So, we've used an adjective to describe the cave. And then we need to say, what's that? Can you spot my question mark at the end? Because we're asking a question. Then, I've used my adjectives from Monday's work to describe the tortoise. So I've said one solid shell. And then quick with our qu sound. And then run home. 
And then we've got another split digraph for the O sound. And I've finished there with an exclamation mark because we want to get home really, really quickly. Run home. So that's a shorter example of the story if you want to keep it a bit easier today. And if you're feeling more confident with your writing today, here's an example of a longer piece of writing that you can do. So I'll read it first and then we'll talk about it. Uh-uh, a cave, a narrow, gloomy cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe. What's that? One solid shell, two beady eyes, four scaly legs, it's a tortoise! Quick! Get back to our front door, up the stairs, into bed. We're not going on a tortoise hunt again. So let's go back to the beginning. Can you see I've got an exclamation mark where I've written, uh-oh. And then we've got the split digraph in the word cave. And then a narrow, gloomy cave. So those are my adjectives. Tiptoe, tiptoe. What's that? And I've written that in capital letters because I want it to be really, really loud. And then at the end, I've put a question mark because I'm asking a question. I want to know what it is. And now here is where I'm going to look back at my Monday's lesson about my animal. In my case, it's the tortoise. One solid shell, two beady eyes, Four scaly legs. So my adjectives are solid, beady and scaly. It's a tortoise! And again I've written that in capital letters because I want it to be really really loud because I'm really surprised that it's a tortoise in a dark narrow cave. Quick! Qua, there's a qua sound. Get to our front door, up the stairs, into bed. We're not going on a tortoise hunt again. So when you finish your piece of writing, remember to go back and check to make sure that you've included all of these things that we need to remember. The capital letters, our innovated character, finger spaces, adjectives, full stops, and maybe some exclamation marks and a question mark. Now our Friday extension challenge for you is as well as sending us your written piece of writing uh, through email, it would be really, really lovely if anybody wanted to read their whole story from beginning to end and video reading it and then send that through to us as well because we'd love to see you reading because we miss hearing you read as well. So we hope that you're proud of the work that you've done this week and you have been really, really responsible. So well done, Year Ones. It's been a tough week with all that writing, but I hope that you're really proud of all your work. Well done.